In this question from just 2024, we are given a quantum oscillator which occupies states with n equal to 0 and n equal to 1. We have to calculate the mean energy of the oscillator as a function of beta is equal to 1 by kt. So for n equal to 0, for n equal to 0, e0 is equal to 1 by 2 h cross omega for n is equal to 1 e1 is equal to 1 plus 1 by 2 h cross omega which is 3 by 2 h cross omega now in thermal equilibrium probability of the oscillator being in a state n is given by p n this is the probability of the oscillator being in the nth state in thermal equilibrium this is equal to e raised to minus beta e n divided by z here z is the partition function z is defined as z is equal to summation over n e raised to minus beta e n this is the partition function So z is equal to n can only have values 0 and 1 all other states have negligible occupation so we have z is equal to e raised to minus beta e0 plus e raised to minus beta e1 this is equal to e raised to minus beta e0 is 1 by 2 h cross omega plus e raised to minus beta e1 is 3 by 2 h cross omega if we take e raised to minus beta h cross omega by 2 outside then we have 1 plus e raised to minus beta h cross omega so this is the partition function z Now mean value of any quantity, let's say x, mean value of x is equal to summation over n, xn, pn. Here pn is the probability of occupying nth state in thermal equilibrium and xn is the value of x in the nth state. So for average mean energy, mean energy is equal to summation over n e n p n since there are only two occupied states we have e0 p0 plus e1 p1 e0 is 1 by 2 h cross omega 1 by 2 h cross omega p0 is e raised to minus beta e0 divided by z plus e1 is 3 by 2 h cross omega p1 is e raised to minus beta e1 divided by z so this is equal to 1 by 2 h cross omega e raised to minus beta 1 by 2 h cross omega plus 3 by 2 h cross omega e raised to minus beta 3 by 2 h cross omega the whole divided by z z is e raised to minus beta h cross omega by 2 times 1 plus here is z 1 plus e raised to minus beta h cross omega therefore e is equal to mean value of energy is equal to from here we can common out from here we can common out e raised to minus beta h cross omega by 2 therefore we have e raised to minus beta h cross omega by 2 times 1 by 2 h cross omega plus 3 by 2 h cross omega times e raised to minus beta h cross omega 
the whole divided by z z is raised to minus beta h cross omega by 2 times 1 plus e raised to minus beta h cross omega these terms cancel so this is equal to if we take 1 by 2 h cross omega outside 1 by 2 h cross omega into 1 plus 3 e raised to minus beta h cross omega by 1 plus e raised to minus beta h cross omega this is equal to 1 by 2 h cross omega times 1 plus e raised to minus beta h cross omega plus 2 e raised to minus beta h cross omega divided by 1 plus e raised to minus beta h cross omega this is equal to 1 by 2 h cross omega times 1 plus 2 e raised to minus beta h cross omega divided by 1 plus e raised to minus beta h cross omega this is equal to h cross omega if we take 1 by 2 inside 1 by 2 plus e raised to minus beta h cross omega divided by 1 plus e raised to minus beta h cross omega this is equal to h cross omega times 1 by 2 plus if we multiply denominator and numerator by e raised to beta h cross omega we will get 1 divided by e raised to beta h cross omega plus 1 so this is the mean energy of the quantum oscillator Option A is the correct answer here. H cross omega times 1 by 2 plus 1 divided by 1 plus exponential beta H cross omega.